Hello. Hello. Hey, is this Michelle? Yes, this is her. Hey, I'm looking at a listing you got here, um, at f Uh huh. Hi, hi, um, I see it says the seller's motivated and it's been on the market for a while. Do you know why that Thank is, you. or? This is a sale by the court, um, and the the husband is trying to basically sell it for as much as he can to so that he can pay off the mortgage and split whatever the agreement was in court between him and his ex-wife. So it's a legal thing. Mm, gotcha. Yeah. But um, you're talking about um, the Whitmore listing or the um, Forenza? Because there's another listing. Whitmore. Uh, Whitmore? What? Yeah. Okay. What is, what's the other listing? Um, it's uh, 1300 Southwest. Um, it's Ferrazenza Avenue. It's over in... Um, Biscaya Falls in Torino. Torino. Port St. Lucie. Yeah, Torino, Port St. Lucie. Mm. Uh, which is, is that probably, a similar... it's over on St. Lucie West Side. Is, is that a similar situation? No, no. This is, um, this is a four, two and a half, two story. It's in a gated community. Mm. Is it distressed um, anywhere, like physically, or is the owner no, in distress? No, it's it's um two years old. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, that's not really what we're looking for. But uh, Whitmore, the owner. Do you know if they'd be open to like uh seller financing or subject to maybe something creative? Uh, no, no, because when whenever it's put in a divorce decree like that. Um, the, the, the seller can't get involved with the financing. They, they're just the trying seller. to sell outright and get as much money as they can because they put down a lot when they bought it. So they're trying to get at least a percentage of what they, um, they put down on the house. And um, the court, once it's sold, the court then dis you know split whatever. Yeah. The thing is, but no, they won't consider um, seller finance because I had another person that wanted that, and they they weren't able to go that route. Mm. So who came up with this listing price? The courts? No, they they. The owners. Mm. Cause it, it's Even just a little high. Them. I'm looking at the comps right now, and there's a four three twenty two hundred square feet down the block that sold for seven fifty, or four four seventy five four seventy five. Right, right. That's fine. I mean, the, you have to understand that as an owner, you can decide whatever then put your faith in either getting a good appraiser to give you a high number on your house, because you know the appraisal is what matters. Yeah, um, What um, so, by chance, what was the appraiser's offer? No, based on the houses that, um, that has closed within the last couple of weeks and months, um, the appraisal value for that house is is four eighty. Oh, uh, right. That's it. But as a so, owner, you can list it for whatever. Yeah. And hope that when you when a contract goes on it, the appraiser will probably push it up a little bit. Then we can go back to the table and decide. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, so, I'm just a little confused because it says. You know, like seller is motivated in the bio, in the description of the post. Okay, well, I mean, if do you know like what, 
what they need to walk away from it. Like cash, money, what? I, I mean, I I don't have the details of the the um <coughs> the the final decree and what it says. Yeah. I mean, the only thing you can do is put an offer in, and I present it to them, and if they want to take it, because sometimes people say, "Oh, I want this for it," and then because they're running out of time. They take whatever. So it's based on if you send me an offer, I can present it to them. If there's a counter offer, then we can deal with that. But I mean, I'm not the owner. Yeah. Do you know how much they owe on it, or? I I'm not sure what the exact amount is. All right. Uh, when did they buy? Like, do they have a lot of equity or not really? Um, when they bought, they put a lot down on it. So, I mean, they have some equity, but it's not a whole lot. Yeah. Which is why it's listed like that per their request. Yeah. All right. But they know what the comps are. I mean, we've got a couple of cash offers, but it wasn't something they wanted. Um, we've had investors that wanted to buy it at a, the appraised value, and they weren't willing to do that either. So, like I said, the only thing, I'm the middleman. So, yeah. if somebody want to put an offer, I present it to them, and then they decide from there. All right. What um would you be able to tell me what the highest offer was that got rejected? Just um, so I have a nine, um 492 I believe. Cash? Five, 492. Cash? That was from an investor, an investment company. Dang. So they're firm on that 550. Uh, I'm not anywhere near that 490. All right. Um, well, I mean, like I said, you can put an offer in. I mean, I don't know where they are mentally right now as yeah. far as what their acceptance or their, you know, maybe they'll compromise more now than they did last week or two weeks ago. So, I, I mean, I, I don't, it's hard for me to really tell you exactly what their response would be so if you're serious about it you put an offer in and then i'll present it to them and if they say yes or whatever yeah okay. when uh when was the last time they looked at an offer um, almost two weeks ago about a little over two weeks all right um Uh, how much was that for? Do you know? Or you obviously know? Oh. What? I'm doing something wrong. I had to um, get my phone plugged in a little bit. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but if you if you want to put an offering, you can just do that. I mean, I like I said, I don't have any control over the decision of the owner. So yeah. All right. Um, yeah. You well, what's your you... price range? What are you guys looking for? I mean, we. We can buy properties anywhere from zero to a million, really, but it just, the numbers have to make sense. Oh, you guys are an investor? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and I, I understand the, I, I understand the seller finance program, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, because I spoke, and, and in fact, he spoke to another company, another group about that, and he said he didn't want that. Do you know why that is? I, 
he spoke to the person that was that explained the program to him. They even met up, and he said he wasn't interested in that. I I don't know why, mm-hmm. and that's why it's, the house is on the market because obviously, um, you know, a lot of a lot of investors are doing that now. That option, that finance option. Yeah. But he's not interested in that. Hmm. What uh, do you think we might be able to set up a call with him to go through the subject too? Because that's not necessarily seller finance, and it'd be a way for them to uh, walk away with cash in their pocket, which kind of sounds like something they would be interested in. Do you think we could set up a like a three-way call or? Maybe tomorrow I'll um I'll uh, talk to him and then I can call you back and let you know. All right, perfect. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank All you. Right, have a have a good night. You too.